Namaste guys, Rajesh here from Namaste Tech and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer applications to SD card on the Moto E3 Power. Since the Moto E3 Power runs on Marshmallow out of the box and makes use of the new adoptable storage feature that Google introduced with the OS, the process of moving applications to SD card on the handset is not as straightforward as it should be. On the plus side, while tedious, adoptable storage fuses the external storage with the internal storage of the device that leads to the overall device storage increasing. So for example, if you insert a 32GB SD card on your Moto E3 Power, the device storage section under settings will show that the handset now has around 46GB of storage space after detecting space lost for formatting and other system files. Anyways, with everything out of the way, let me show you how you can move applications to SD card on your Moto E3 Power. Once you insert an SD card on your Moto E3 Power and boot it back into Android, chances are you will automatically get a notification saying that you have inserted an unsupported SD card. Tap on that notification and you will have the option of setting up the card either as portable storage or as external storage. You cannot move applications to SD card if you set up the SD card as portable storage. However, under this mode, the card will be detected by your PC, which means that you can easily transfer photos and other media files to it. It is only if you set up the SD card as internal storage that you will be able to move apps to SD card. However, once you set up the SD card as internal storage, it will not be recognized by your PC or any other device, which means that you cannot easily transfer files to and fro from it then. So select the use as internal storage option, tap next, followed by erase and format. Depending on the size of the SD card, the formatting procedure will take anywhere between a minute or two. Once the card is formatted, you will also get an option that will prompt you to move your media files from the internal storage to the external storage of the device. This will only move your photos and videos and not applications. And if the SD card that you have inserted is a bit slow, you will also get a message saying that the inserted SD card can affect system performance. So with the SD card properly formatted and set up, head over to settings followed by apps, then tap the name of the application that you want to move to SD card. From there, tap storage. On the screen that comes up, you will find a storage use section which will show where the data files of the particular application are stored. On compatible applications, you will also find a change button, tap on it, select the SD card that you inserted, press move and you are done. Depending on the size of the application, the transfer process can take up to a minute or two. So to repeat, open any application that you want to move to SD card from settings, apps, from its listing, tap on storage and from there tap the change button located right below storage used. Select the SD card you just inserted, tap move to confirm your selection and you are done. So that's it for this video guys, thanks for watching it, do hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel if you have not already done so.